to break the bread of life. And I'm always conscious and reminded of the fact that even though I've been doing it about 48 years now, that I still must depend on God. It's like I did the first time that I ever preached. Hallelujah. Amen. The message that I'll share with you tonight. Amen. I preached it the first time before most of you were born. Amen. Amen. It's, but it's still the Word of God. And right. The Word of God is always refreshing. Amen. It glorifies God. And I believe with all my heart tonight that God has a message for you and I. Amen. But particularly for someone tonight that needs this message very, very much. Amen. And so we're going to rely on God tonight as we step out on the bridge of faith. Let us turn to the book of Matthew, the fourth chapter, to share these verses with you. Uh, these <clears throat> scriptures jumped out at me, and, <clears throat> and I want to share with you tonight, and hopefully may share some things with you, and show some things that maybe you've never seen before concerning these scriptures. And it reads as thus, And then was Jesus led up of the Spirit, Yes. into the wilderness to be tempted yes. of the devil. Yes. And when he had fasted 40 days and 40 nights, he was after awkward and hungered. And when the tempter came to him, he said, If I be the Son of God, command that these stones be made bread. But he answered and said, It is written, Man shall not live by bread alone. Right. But by every word that proceedeth out of the mouth of God, then the devil taketh him up into the holy city, set at him on the pinnacle of the temple, and said unto him, If I be the Son of God, cast thyself down, for it is written, He shall give his angels charge concerning thee, and in their hands they shall bear thee up, lest at any time thou dash thy foot against a stone. Jesus said unto him, It is written again, Thou shalt not tempt the Lord thy God. Yes. And again, the devil taking him up to an exceeding high mountain and showed him all the kingdoms of the world and the glory of them and said unto him, All these things will I give thee if thou will fall down and worship me. And then said Jesus unto him, Get thee hence, Satan, for it is written, Thou shalt worship the Lord thy God, and him only shall thy serve. And then the devil leaveth him, and the whole angels came and ministered unto him. Hallelujah. Father God, tonight, as I stand before this assembly, God, I pray it'll not be a time of dull hearing, but, oh God, it'll be a time out in place that your word will go out with power and authority and love. And I pray that you'll be glorified. I pray, God, that every heart here will be affected by this word of truth tonight. That all will know of surety that your presence and your power has been in the midst from the beginning of its service even to the end. And I pray, God, that spiritual seed will be sown. I pray, God, tonight that hearts shall open up I pray as you look down upon this service, God, that you will turn me in loose in this place. And God, help me to preach as I've never preached before. Uh, hallelujah. Help this assembly to listen as they've never listened before. Jeez. Oh, God, may we listen as if this will be the last message that we'll ever hear. And God, it very well could be. But I step out on the bridge of faith, place it in your hands, ask you to speak for your glory. And I give you praise and give you honor for all good things of compass yes. in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Now, my beloved, I want to preach to you on the thought tonight. Don't let the devil make you doubt who you are. Hallelujah. As we'll see on here tonight, I believe with all my heart that there are many tonight, amen, that are not preaching the Word of God, that are not singing on the praise team, that are not in God's house tonight. Because somewhere along the line, Pastor Tim, the devil, tried to make them doubt who they were. But I want you to know tonight, praise God. Amen. We're looking at Jesus in the scripture. Jesus has always known who he was. The word of God teaches us that he is the son of God. For the Bible said, for God so loved the world 
that he give what is holy to God the Son, that whosoever believeth in him shall not perish, but shall have everlasting life. Did not the word of God say he that the Son, meaning oh, Jesus, is oh, set free, is free indeed? Did not the word of God say, Amen, glory to God, if any man come to the Father, then he must come through me. Yes. Did not the word of God say in the book of Genesis, God said, Let us create man in our image, meaning more than one. Did not he tell the disciples to go out, preach the gospel to all the world, baptizing them in the name of the Father, the Son, Hallelujah. and the Holy Ghost. Jesus knew who it was. Jesus knew then and he knows now. Hey Amen. The devil knew who Jesus was. The devil knows who we are tonight. But that's not going to keep the devil from trying to make you doubt who you are. I believe tonight, glory to God, as we look at the Word of God, we see that the Bible said, hey Amen, that Jesus, a praise God, was led, a praise God by the Spirit. The Bible said that as many are led by the Spirit of God, that they are the children of God. Oh, my beloved, praise God as I see here. Hey, man, the enemy was going to tempt him. I pray to God Jesus was willing to follow the Spirit of God. Yes, he took on the flesh of man, came and dwelled here on this earth. If you'd have pinched him, it would hurt. Just like if you had pinched me. I want you to realize tonight and what I'm trying to say to you. Even though there's three involved, there's still a connected one. This is God the Father right here. This is Jesus on the right hand of the Father. And this is the Holy Ghost. They're all connected together, but yet all separate. What we find here praying God the enemy. I'll let him out to be our brother, the spirit of the enemy. How in the wilderness to be tempted to now this wilderness is a place of uh, kind of isolated to uh, uh, pray to God the devil wants to get each one of us uh, uh, to a place that he can get us weak. Uh, he wants to get us to a place I uh, uh, pray to God that he can attack us uh, in our weakest moment. Uh, According to the scriptures here, Jesus uh, had fasted 40 days and 40 nights. Uh, uh, but you say he was Jesus, the Son of God. Uh, well, Moses also fasted 40 days uh, and 40 nights. And the Bible said he didn't drink any water. Uh, and that was found in Exodus, the 34th chapter, the 28th verse. Uh, uh, but we find glory to God as he is fasting. Uh, uh, pray to God, I believe that he was also praying. Uh, I believe glory to God. Uh, I pray to God that he felt uh, and was drawn near to the Father as he fasted. Uh, I pray to God the Bible did not say that he was hungry uh, uh, during the fast, but afterwards, uh, I pray to God he hungered. Uh, uh, you see, my beloved, when you're shouting and you're praising God, uh, you're feeling the victory. The devil's not going to attack you too much. Uh, uh, but I want you to know by now he's thirsty. Uh, I want you to know by now he's hungry afterwards. Uh, I pray God and the devil showed up. Uh, uh, the devil's been talking to some this week. Uh, and no doubt he's been trying to get you to doubt God. Uh, uh, in your doubt, darkest hour, he'll come to you uh, and say, you've been sick, where's God? Uh, he'll come and say, things are going wrong, where's God? Uh, uh, but I won't announce tonight that God's still God. Uh, I want you to know that God knew where his son Jesus was. Uh, I want you to know tonight that God knows where you are. Uh, I want you to know tonight that God will not leave you alone. Uh, he said, I'll never leave you, I'll never forsake you. Uh, uh, but oh, I'll go with you always, even to the end of the world. Uh, a son tonight will end the life. Uh, uh, because the devil's told him life is not worth living. Uh, uh, but I want to tell you, it is worth living. Uh, uh, Brother Chris, the devil will tell you uh, uh, that your ministry is going to fail, that it's not going to work. Uh, I'm praying God and try to get you to doubt God. Uh, uh, Brother Eddie, the devil will tell you God ain't called you to preach. Uh, 
how that was just an emotion you had. Yeah. And believe it or not, yeah, the devil had been to this man, I'm sure, yeah, and told him along the way yeah, how God didn't call you to preach yeah, and try to make Pastor Daniel down, yeah, try to make Pastor Tim down, yeah, try to make me down. Yeah, but what I want to tell you tonight, yeah, I know whose side I'm on, yeah, and I know who's on my side. Yeah, but when God, I knew when I was lost, yeah, when the God said, I knew where I was headed, I knew where I am going. A pass of Jimmy many times, the devil has probably tried to give you to get you to give up. But I want to tell you tonight, here is the opposite of faith. I tell you, if we'll do the holding on, I pray to God, God will do the holding out. I say to you, children, we just got a little while more to travel. I pray to God. That you need for yourself tonight. I uh, thank God is on the way. I uh, uh, pray God don't look down. I uh, uh, pray God but look up. Uh, for I will be with him. I uh, uh, pray God uh, and he will come again. I uh, uh, pray God we find uh, how that he has been tested, fasting, uh, and the enemy come to him. The Bible said the tempter. Uh, how the tempter came to him. How the devil be mad ever since he been cast out of heaven. Yeah. Uh, but he knows he can never go back. Uh, uh, praise God he lost it all. Uh, and he don't want us to go to heaven. Uh, uh, praise God but the only one can stop you and me from going to heaven. Uh, it's not the devil but it's us I said. Uh, I will start out this way to give up. Uh, but if there was no heaven, there was no hell. Uh, uh, Pastor Daniel, I still want to live this way. Uh, oh, this is the best way. Uh, uh, this is the right way. Uh, uh, this is the way of peace. Uh, uh, Jesus said, my peace I've given you, not as the world giveth I. Uh, and the real peace don't come in until the prince of peace comes in. Uh, uh, glory to God. Amen. Uh, uh, we find in the word of God the tempt to say it. Uh, and came to him and said, if thy be, yeah. I pray God, the Son of God. Yeah. Well, you know that was a lie, hash out of hell. Yeah. How the devil knew who he was. Yeah. He'd been in heaven with him. Yeah. Oh, uh, did you know there's been a winning hand in a poker game that has lost? Yeah. Uh, because somebody across the table bluffed him. Uh, I bluffed him and said, You don't have a winning hand, I'm holding the winning hand. Yeah. And what the devil wants to do is to bluff us. Yeah. Salvation, bluff us out of our health. I want us to think that God don't love us. We can't be healed. But I have been healed. I've been spiritually healed. I've been physically healed. I've been healed. I want to tell you 
can take God's word to and apply to every problem that we got to. How God got an answer for every problem you got to. And praying God enough is too hard for God to. How the real question is when we turn it over to Him, to, when we believe God to, can we look beyond the physical to, and look through the spiritual eye to, and declare God to, I have victory, not defeat to. How God, I know, is I place it in your hands to, and leave it at all of God tonight to. I don't know how, I don't know when to.
Some left the world singing. Some left praising God. And Brother Tim saw hanging. And some were tris uh, a twisting. And they became uh, like a little child. Him Walmart that had lost his mama. How they called death was on. And they were not prepared to meet God. And God, the devil sent his angels. And they saw those powers. And there was nothing they could do. Thank you. 